Crocodile is a dark ground Pokemon, evolves from Sandow, of course, which is only available in 12 kilometer eggs. I hatched a uh, Hundo myself a couple weeks back, and I really want to use it in Masters League. I think it has a lot of play there. Uh, but before I maxed it out completely, I wanted to use it in Open Ultra because with the uh, dark ground typing it has a lot of play versus Reg Steel with earthquakes and versus uh, Cresselia and Giratina with the crunches uh, it's very glossy though so it actually ends up losing to Cress and Reg Steel I'm pretty sure because the moon blast hits for super effective it just do so much and their focus blast one shots uh, so it's more of a meme to be honest and you're gonna see this in his battles I didn't win that much I ended up going pretty negative but the matches were kind of fun uh, so enjoy it this match i led crocodile into crest which is a fine lead but i didn't want to burn both my shields especially since he stayed in i was pretty sure he was gonna have something weak in the back uh, to crocodile so i decided to swap out into gyarados uh, catch his move which i did uh, now he brings in a giratina versus, versus my gyarados which is quite nice uh, just because i have the super effective crunches of course uh, talking about my team by the way i'm running it with uh, gyarados and cresselia uh, because they cover they both cover uh, crocodile's biggest weaknesses which is fighting and uh, like swampert water types uh, only thing uh, it's missing is like charm coverage crocodile also gets destroyed by charmers and Gyarados also kind of gets destroyed by Charmers, so I just hope I don't run into them. To be honest, it's quite hard to create a like a balanced team with uh, with Crocodile, so this team also kind of sucks. Anyway, I take out the Giratina with my Crocodile here, and it, in, in comes Umbreon. It's not great because I have Cresselia and uh, Foulplish do quite a bit to Cresselia, but they're both just tanks. But uh, so Cresselia can still take a bunch, and from this range, two Moonblasts shoot barely be enough to KO. He still has his own Cresselia in the back though, and after this one foul play, he's only gonna need, only, well, he's gonna need three more. Uh, but if he throws another Moonblast right here, uh, he's only gonna need uh, two more, or one more maybe. Uh, let, let's just see. I, uh, I get the full Moonblast right there, and now I can farm it up. I get the attack drop, which might be kind of big, uh, because now uh, I definitely stay out of uh, foul play range. Yeah, this does nothing now. It already did nothing, of course, but I attacked out attack drop like that pretty much healed me right uh anyway in comes the umbrian i can throw the i can throw the moon blast uh, and uh he, he needs two foul plays to kill so i think he had a foul play ready right there almost to the second uh, but he didn't throw because he knew he needed a two i'll just kill him with the moon blast right there that's a, a good game all right next match ho ho into crook uh, <coughs> I, I don't know how this goes. This 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 seems pretty neutral. Uh, we're both hitting uh, for neutral. Uh, um, I with uh, or crocodile with uh, with dark moves, of course, and Ho is hitting me for neutral incinerates, which are chunking quite a bit, as you can see. Uh, but luckily, it doesn't charge that quickly. At least I get to my moves way quicker. Uh, but this brave bird would definitely kill me two times over uh, so i shield of course and i just go for uh, another crunch right here before we can get to the second uh, brave bird uh i'm just gonna shoot i just i'm just gonna try to retain switch advantage because my two pokemon on the back have pretty are pretty pretty solid core so if i can get switch advantage usually crest and gyarados can deal with whatever's in the back in comes swampert though and maybe i made a bit of a mistake right here uh, just because um Gyarados deals with Swampert really well, uh, even better than Cress. And seeing as he has Ho-Oh and Swampert, which are both weak to Gyarados, I should have assumed that he probably has a Gyarados answer in the back. But in the end, this is still fine because Cress also stakes out Swampert. I just need two moves. I, can, I took the Earthquake and a Hydro Cannon like a champ. Uh, take out the Swampert. Let's just see what he has in the back. Uh, in, in comes the Ho-Oh. Hopefully I can get to a future site right there. If I get if I get to a future site right here, uh, I can uh, I can snarl or dragon breath it down. I think I just tried to snipe him right there. I didn't want to get hit by a brave bird on any of my Pokemon, so I decided to try to crunch it. Buddy swaps in the Giratina. This is epic. Look at this crunch. Look at this crunch. This will this will KO two crunches two crunches from Crocodile KO Giratina. That's pretty that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Anyway, I just uh, snarl this down. And uh, that's a good game. That's a good game. All right, for alligator. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Here comes uh, Click Fatal. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just get a hard countered. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't get to uh, three Aqua Tails right there. And I timed my Aqua Tail horribly right there. If you could see that, uh, he got an entire, uh, entire charm right there because I timed my uh, Aqua Tail at the beginning of his uh, animation instead of at the end. 
If you use a Dragon Breath against a Charmer, always time your move at the end of a Charm animation. Uh, so you deny a, a Charm. Uh, but now uh, I gave him a full free one. It's kind of bad. But in the end, it really doesn't matter. I wasn't going to make it to three anyway. Uh, just something to keep in mind. Uh, anyway, I, I shoot the move right there. Uh, because I, I need I need the health. I need the health, I feel like. So I'm just going to throw the Moonblast. Just don't think this KOs. But one Psycho card after this will. That's beautiful. I got some extra farm. In comes the Giratina, which is pretty bad. But I still see a tiny chance here. If I can Moonblast this. Uh, like this is like 40. Uh, then chip him down a little bit more. And you know, both Fredigator and Crocodile are pretty glassy mons. So if I can get an Earthquake on the Fredigator, that might almost one-shot. Not expecting one-shot. I try to catch a Shadow Sneak right here. Uh, do I get it? Ah, it's a, it's a Dragon Claw, which is unfortunate. Uh, but uh, that gives this Fredigator less farm. So yes, that's all right. And I still get to the Earthquake, so that's fine. Uh, how much does this do? <laughs> that's a pretty good amount though that's a pretty good amount yeah Kuroko is a glass cannon it's a real glass cannon if I can farm this down I might have a shot if I can farm this down I might have a shot farm this down get a Moomlas on the Giratina I can't that's unfortunate uh, I think even if I farm it down the the the, the Giratina was almost 50% and Moomlas only does like 40 so I would have needed a bunch of uh, Psycho Cuts and I would not have killed him I think alright Mew Lead pretty good but that depends on the move is he, if he has Surf that's kind of bad and he makes a sacrificial swap right there well played by my opponent but i think even if i had calculated that swap and i would not have thrown the crunch i think i would have still thrown the crunch to the leprous because the the leprous crusader matchup is kind of close especially if it is if he has a small energy lead uh so uh, i think i would have thrown the crunch anyway to guarantee a switch advantage over this uh, leprous I'm just gonna throw a Moonblast right here. I should be able to throw two Moonblasts and farm down. Even if he gets two more serves here, that's fine. Uh, because uh, I just want energy for the Mew, basically. If I get two Moonblasts uh, on the Mew, he's gonna have to shoot one of them in order to preserve the Mew. And then uh, Krook uh, should be able to clean it up. Uh, can I get there? Four. Yeah, he dies with the serve. So this was a perfect farm down. Uh, in comes the Mew. So if this is Dark Pulse, that would KO. But I'm just gonna let it go. I still have Krook. Uh, but it's Flame Charge, which is kind of bad. I don't know his second move yet, but if it's, again, if it's something like Surf, a Flame Charge Surf would probably kill my Crook in one shot. But I get the attack drop right there. Very, very lucky. But I think that might actually be bad. Oh, no. I thought he was going to farm me down there. But, uh, no, I get the Moonblast, so that attack drop really came in handy. I got pretty lucky right there. I just get two attack drops? Wow. That's crazy. All right, anyway. In comes the in comes the Togekiss. Togekiss just destroys both my Pokemon. This is game over. Unless I can uh, unless I can throw a Crunch or an Aqua Tail on this, uh, two Aqua Tails, uh, have one shielded and crunch it down, and then crunch the Mew. Problem is Mew already has uh, quite a bit of energy actually, so I need to over farm with my Crook in order to outpace the Mew. And I'm not even sure if Crunch KOs from uh, this range. We'll see gonna farm up right here i was counting the charms but uh yeah i miscounted i thought i could throw one more snarl right here before throwing a crunch and uh, be at two crunches but uh no definitely not freezing the mew ah, i don't get my crunch right there because i threw a snarl instead a uh, well played by my opponent uh, takes me out and uh, yeah that's game we're never gonna i, I don't think the crunch would have took us uh, anyway but we'll never know all right septal's lead wow i never i've never seen that th th this thing but today i've been blessed i've been blessed uh, this is pretty much perfect lead, right? But this drill pack, uh, yeah, does, like, <laughs> way too much. Again, Crocodile, not tanky at all. Uh, this crunch is probably KO, uh, KO anyway, so, uh, that's all good. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna maintain a switch advantage here. I don't play around. Uh, I don't want my Gyarados matched up against this thing, of course, so there's no way I'm swapping to anything right here. I'm just gonna shield everything up and, uh, keep throwing crunches. Uh, since he's staying in, he probably has another thing weak to Crook. Uh, so, hopefully, he brings that out. And if it's, like, if, if he brings, like, let's say he brings, like, a Swampert right now, I would swap because I have two answers in the back. But if, it, if it's if it's something uh, only one of my uh, Pokemon in the back can handle, I, I'll have to stay in. It's Registeel. Uh, you know, I mess up right there. I go for the Earthquake. It's 15 turns to get to the Earthquake, but it's only 14 to get to the Flash Cannon. I knew that. I should have just thrown Crunch to get the chip, uh, but I didn't. That's a misplay. Anyway, uh, Gyarados has a pretty decent matchup 
uh, here, I can just go Aqua Tails and uh, take him out in the Zero Shield. I'm quite sure because his Flash Cannons are uh, resisted and his Aqua Tails uh, do quite a bunch of uh, a bunch of damage. Though, uh, it's not that, that much, but they add up. They add up. That's uh, these, these Aqua Tails uh, add up and uh, I should be able to take it out. Uh, even though I've, I'm throwing resisted Dragon Breath damage, of course, Dragon Breath is just such a good move that it just chips down uh, even uh, Registeels, which <laughs> resists the move. Anyway, Cresselia, recent Cresselia, I go into my own Cresselia. This is like a pretty boring matchup, of course, where I, I have the... Uh, he has energy advantage, though, which is not great. He should be able to kill my Cress with his own Cress now because he has energy advantage, but I still have like a, 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 a Gyarados left over, which can kill the Registeel and do some chip damage against the crest so i'm pretty feeling pretty good right here uh but uh, again we're just gonna have to sit through this slow matchup this is uh by the way this is why there's not much uh open ultra uh videos on my channel it's because uh you know these matchups are so boring everyone everyone's bringing crests reggie giratina they're so slow uh so i just decided to avoid the league uh, and i i bring my own cresselia right here i, I did really want to bring cresselia in this team but, uh, you know, with Crook, I need some bulk, so I had to bring Cresselia. Anyway, I take out his uh, Rich Steel with my uh, Gyarados, in comes the Cress. I do some valuable chip damage with a Dragon Breath. And now I have the Health Advantage and Energy Advantage, which means I pretty much win the game. Uh, just going straight Moonblast, of course, unless he gets like a debuff. But, uh, you know, time is almost up and he, realize, like, he, li he realizes, it, realizes it's over. GG. All right, Surf Ashley, awful. Luckily, I have two fighting answers in the back in Gyarados and Cress. I decided to go in with my weakest answer in uh, Gyarados. In comes his own Cressella, which is great. Uh, he let me farm up quite a bit on the Surf Edge, so that means I can switch, uh, get switch advantage here. It's quite great. Uh, these crunches are doing super effective damage, uh, but as you can see, they're not doing that much. Cress is just so uh, tanky, but it does enough to where I can shield right here and farm him down and i'll have some energy for the next pokemon coming in uh hopefully it's something crocodile can handle and then i'll have crocodile on that and crest on whatever uh on the surf edge but it's reggie which uh, crocodile should be able to handle but not with a shield down and with reggie with an energy advantage because he's probably gonna farm up right here but yeah it's pretty looking pretty uh looking pretty grim right here uh for our boy crook and uh well girl boy what's Cresselia I don't know duck or duck Cresselia it's like a, it's like a flying duck I don't know anyway crook versus Reggie I'm gonna have to go two shoots down right there if I want to keep my crook alive this would one shot so yeah and he brings in the surf edge I tried to press my swap right there but I threw a snarl ex accidentally I was expecting the swap but yeah I just threw a snarl it's uh, pretty bad but even still this game was over I think from the beginning I tried to go for the hill Mary and go for the uh for the earthquake right there to kill him and hopefully I can kill the Reggie with my crest but nah there's no way I still have a small chance right here if I if I can like survive three night slashes farm this surf edge down throw couple boom blasts on the reggie it's kind of low uh so maybe and i got that attack drop right here which definitely helps me survive these night slashes so might have a chance might have a chance he's gonna get another one but he swaps ah, he doesn't let me farm me down which is too bad uh future side actually does these damage here so if i would have been able to farm down two future sites would have ko the reggie uh but uh, yeah i didn't so uh i think it's game over i still have a ch small chance right there but i m mess up right there I swap in the crook without farming up energy on crest. I should have farmed up to a moonblast because now I get to this crunch, but this surf edge will be able to farm me down and I realize it's so undercharged. Uh, the surf edge is going to be able to farm me down and he'll outpace me to a move. If I would have farmed up with crest versus the Reggie and then gone in crook, uh, I might have been able to get some like get some snarl damage in, then farm it down with crest if he, he had to throw the move on crook of course, and then kill the surf edge. So there's a small chance right there, but I missed it anyway. GG to my opponent. Uh, Armored mute to lead pretty okay for a crook, so but I have to watch out for debit punch. He swaps to swap, but I swap it to my hardest counter Gyarados, which is pretty good. Uh, right here, I know if I swap quick enough, uh, I can get to uh, I can crunch him and farm him down. Crunch does slightly more damage than Aqua Tail, so one crunch and farm him down before he gets to the third Hydro Cannon. Uh, usually, usually if you crunch 
and then you can farm down but as you can see this this swampert has pretty epic ivs uh, and i uh I, I kind of like because because i i threw a snarl when he swapped in uh that doesn't do much damage and also gives him like one and a half much shot advantage which didn't help so he did get to the third hydro cannon right there but usually if you swap quickly enough if you crunch a shadow swampert you can farm him down all the way before he gets to the third hydro but this time uh i didn't unfortunately anyway obstacle comes in uh that's pretty bad <laughs> that's pretty bad for my team but i did bring him into moonblast range that awkward tool is pretty valuable crash can take like four night slashes and I need to get three. I, oh, he can even take five, but he gets a boost. That's horrible. That boost, that boost cost me the game, I think. Uh, because, um, Press could have taken four night slashes. I would have gotten to three moon blasts, and three moon blasts would have KO'd uh, this Obstagoon. Uh, well, he would have shielded two, and then a third would have KO'd. But he still had the Mewtwo, of course. Unless, uh, he still had the Mewtwo, which could have dynamic punch. But if the Mewtwo had, like, uh, Rock Slide, Side Strike, which I think a lot of them have, or well, some of them have. I think most have Dynamic Punch, but some of them, I've seen a Rock, rock Slide, Side Strike. Depends on the team. I could have had a chance here, but this boost, uh, yeah. Freaking boosting good. Always boosting. This boost definitely uh, cost me the game, which is unfortunate. But uh, well played by my opponent, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm going to throw the Earthquake right here, but I was hoping to kill him. Just, just to make me feel nice, but he shoots. What a party pooper. Anyway, that's fine. GG. GG. Oh, that was the final match. All right, as you could see, Rukadel, pretty squishy, kind of a meme, but had some fun battles. I'm gonna run it again when Master Cl Classic comes back. Gonna be fun. I, you know, it can handle Giratina. It's like the hardest Giratina answer. It's awesome. It can handle Mewtwo. It's like a pretty, especially the the, the side strike Shadow Ball Mewtwo. It just destroys. Uh, it can uh, it can one shot uh, Belvedere pretty much. It can. Uh, almost deal with the Helga, though the Dragon Breaths do a lot, so it's gonna be an interesting Pokemon in Masters. But you're gonna see a video on that. Uh, stay tuned. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. See you guys next time. Have a good evening. Bye.